Welcome to GothCast, I'm Dr. Sanders, and today is the next part in my series of Adam's Family Reviews. And we've been going in order, so last time we had the Adam's Family cartoon, and today we're going to see a return of the original 1960s cast in a made-for-television pilot movie? I'll kind of talk about that in a second. And this is going to be Halloween with the new Adam's Family. This is a very strange one. I gotta be honest, some people are probably like, what the heck is this? Other people are like, oh my goodness, I know what this is. This is not very good. Some people may feel somewhere in the middle. I'll kind of give my thoughts on it and the somewhat confusing nature of this particular release. Anyway, here's my review of Halloween with the new Addams Family. If you've seen my previous videos, then you know I'm a big fan of the Addams Family. Unfortunately, the 70s were not a good time for the franchise. As I talked about in my last video, the Addams Family cartoon from the 70s was not that great. Even from a perspective of a 70s cartoon, it just really wasn't that entertaining. And the subject of today's video, while it may be better in some ways, I still have some conflicting feelings on it. Halloween with the New Addams Family was a 1977 TV special that brought back the original cast members from the 1960s show and told a new story. It was actually intended as a pilot to see if there would be interest for a new television series, but no other episodes were made. And one more thing before I get into a deep dive with this, if you're trying to watch this video, it gets a little complicated. Just like The Addams Family meets Scooby-Doo, this doesn't have a DVD release. But at least, unlike Scooby-Doo meets The Addams Family, you can get this on VHS. Instead of being called Halloween with the New Addams Family, like it actually says in the special, it's called The Original Addams Family. So I actually did bring out my VCR, hook everything up, and transfer this video so I could bring you the highest possible image quality. And uh, yeah, it still looks like a VHS. There are some technical issues with this special, but I'll get into that after I talk about the story. Now, if you do a basic breakdown of the plot, it's essentially like most average episodes of the TV show in that it's about crooks trying to rob the Adams family and steal their fortune. But there's a lot more to it and it gets really convoluted and kind of messy. So while the basic plot is crooks trying to rob the Adams family, like we've seen a number of times through the 1960s show, through the cartoon, this one does it a little differently by having a Halloween party taking place where Wednesday and Pugsley come back to visit home and during the party, these crooks hire imposters to pose as Gomez and Morticia so that they can gain access and fool everybody. They also have the house bugged so they can view video feeds and all this different stuff. And during the party, they do capture Gomez, but he gets away and Lurch is hitting on a guy just as a girl who's one of the crooks and he doesn't realize that it's a guy. All while Gomez's brother is attempting to steal Morticia away from Gomez and they tell this story about Cousin Shy, who is sort of like this great pumpkin-like figure who represents Halloween and leaves presents for everybody, kind of like a Halloween Santa. It's just all over the place. Of course, one of the best things about this special is that we're able to see our favorite lineup of the Addams Family return. We have John Astin as Gomez. We have Carolyn Jones as Morticia. Jackie Coogan, Ted Cassidy. I mean, they're all here. You even have Lisa Loring and Ken Weatherwax returning as adult versions of Wednesday and Pugsley, which as far as I know, is the only time we've seen adult versions of these characters in the franchise. Unfortunately, Blossom Rock was not able to reprise her role as Grandma Adams. She was having some health issues, and unfortunately, she passed away shortly after the release of this special. Now, one of the first issues I have with Halloween with the new Adams Family is the overabundance of characters that don't really matter and don't really add anything to the plot. One of the main plot points is Gomez's brother Poncho constantly hitting on Morticia. And it's revealed that previously, Morticia had dated his brother. And this goes on throughout the whole special, just constantly Gomez fighting for Morticia and Morticia just saying, oh, the code, you must remember that you cannot date me or you cannot kiss me, Poncho, because of the code. And it comes off really strange. I don't know. I just never like this particular plot point of him constantly battling with his brother over Morticia. 
It just doesn't come off as natural in the plot. You also have the addition of Wednesday Jr. and Pugsley Jr. So Gomez and Morticia had two more kids, and they named them Wednesday Jr. and Pugsley Jr. And this is the only appearance of them. They don't appear in any other media. You do also have a recast Grandma Adams and the character Grandma Frump, who is Morticia's mother. But I feel like it's unnecessary to add so many characters. I mean, when you already have Wednesday, Pugsley, Lurch, Morticia, Gomez, Thing, and Uncle Fester, I feel like that's enough. They didn't need to add two more kids, have multiple crooks and criminals, then also include Gomez's brother. And then we also later in the plot get imitations of Morticia and Gomez. So not only do you have Gomez who's wearing a suit and his brother who looks similar to him wearing the same kind of outfit and same kind of demeanor, but the crooks have a plan to fool them by using lookalikes of Gomez and Morticia. So in this movie, you'll have three characters who look the same. You'll have Gomez, his brother, and the imitation Gomez. And it just all gets kind of confusing, just kind of blends together. It just feels like they were trying to put too many different characters and too many different ideas into one plot. I really can't drive home how stupid the bad guys are in this, the crooks who are trying to rob them. I think one of the plot points that really sums up my frustrations with this and how it doesn't really make a lot of sense and it just feels very repetitive is Gomez keeps getting captured. He gets captured multiple times, tied up, and he just keeps escaping again and again and again. And he just thinks it's a joke. And I get that it's supposed to be funny because, oh, Gomez doesn't realize this isn't a game or or they're not doing their job well. But it just is repetitive and it gets old really fast. You know, there are some things I really like about this special. Unfortunately, most of them are linked to the 1960s show. I'm really happy we got at least one more special with the family, with these particular actors portraying the characters. And there are some funny jokes, like when the kids come out and they're dressed as normal people and they're supposed to be frightening Halloween costumes. Like, that's a pretty good joke. But most of the jokes just fall flat because there's just not very good delivery. It doesn't seem to be edited quite right. And I'm sure the actors were working with a script that had flaws in it and they did the best they could. But it just isn't as funny and isn't as entertaining as almost any episode from the original show. I've seen a lot of people complain about the special being in color, saying, oh, the Adams Family is best when it's in black and white, or the Adams Family just can't work in color, which I don't agree with that necessarily. I think the 90s films did a great job of showing how the Adams Family can work in color. You know, that desaturated sort of gray, rundown mansion look. I think it's perfect, and I I think that's why so many people really like it is because it really encapsulates and gets the mood and everything just right. I will say that the color in this particular special is horrendous. I'm not understating this. I think that they really missed the mark with getting the look of the Adams Family in color. And I understand it was the 1970s and this is made for television, but it's all over the place in terms of color in terms of continuity you'll have one scene where it's a very soft blue cool kind of look and cuts to another angle and then it's bright yellow and there's no consistency in the special now i understand the only way to watch this is on a vhs or if somebody rips the vhs so it's not going to be high quality anyway but even for the standards of a 1977 television special that is on vhs it is still not good not only is the lighting bad and really inconsistent But the set design is just terrible. I understand it was the first time in color, but the mansion just feels really gaudy and not in a very good way. In the same way that the 90s films really captured the essence of the Addams Family in the color and the set design, this totally missed it. And I understand that they're just trying to recreate the interiors from the 60s show and put it into color, but the way in which they did it and the items and the coloring and everything and the set design, it feels kind of cluttered and just really cheap. There is definitely a difference between low budget charm and just low budget cheap. And this just looks really bad. Even the masks for the Gomez and Morticia imposters look bad. When they're building the scarecrow, the cousin shy scarecrow, they put the pumpkin on and it's really tiny and looks really bad. I mean, I could just go on and on about how the effects just miss the mark but it's all throughout this entire special. It is over an hour long, and unfortunately, it really feels like it. I don't want to sound like I'm 
just complaining to complain. I really wanted to like this special. I mean, I saw this for the first time years ago and didn't like it at the time. And watching it again to review it, I had the same problem. I mean, it just doesn't click with me. And it just feels like they just didn't understand what people enjoyed about the Addams Family. It's not just adding a million quirky characters into a very strange, oh, we're trying to rob them story. We really came to Adam's family for a genuine human family, as weird as that sounds. We wanted to see Gomez and Morticia love each other, not fight over and have this weird bicker over his brother. We like to see the family dynamic of Wednesday and Pugsley, and they feel very separated inside of the special. You do have Lurch and Fester acting like themselves and up to their usual antics, and that's probably the most consistent thing from the television show. But everything else feels like they just didn't understand the franchise. Unfortunately, I can only recommend this to people who are very curious about everything Adams Family related because it doesn't have many redeeming qualities. If you want to see the only reunion of the 1960s cast, this is it. And I can recommend it for that, to see them all together in one place one last time. If you're actually interested in watching Halloween with the new Adams Family, you should be able to find it on YouTube, although it does get pulled down for copyright reasons from time to time. Just like when I reviewed Rosetta Stone's An Eye for the Main Chance, a very strange event occurred with Halloween with the New M's Family. You can now officially watch this on Hulu. The only way to watch it for decades was through the VHS, but they just updated it in May. Now if you go to the Adams Family 1964 show on Hulu, under the extra section, you'll find Halloween with the New Adams Family. How weird is that? If you're looking for a physical copy, it is only on VHS. Unfortunately, that's the only way you can own a physical copy. Yeah, you were probably wondering what I was holding up in the beginning of the video, because I said this had never been released on DVD, and this is a DVD of Halloween with the New Addams Family. This is actually a DVD that I made from transferring the VHS onto a, you know, like a computer and then made a DVD of it. Uh, this is actually a, the scan of the back of the box. And uh, this is actually from another VHS release. So I kind of combine the two. So the case is actually a combination of the two different VHS releases. So uh, yeah, that's actually what this is. It's a DVD I made. I didn't actually buy this DVD. So that's what I was holding up in the beginning there. Never before released on video. I've never reviewed anything on my show that gives me such a conflicted feeling. It seems like it should be a great special and be a Halloween classic. I know there are other episodes called Halloween with the Adams Family, but this was specifically dedicated. It's over an hour long and it stars the people who made the characters famous and are many people's favorite versions of the characters. But the story is really what kills it along with bad editing, bad set design, bad coloring, just a number of things that really bring it down into ultimately a product that I really don't want to watch again. And it pains me to say that. I just really did not enjoy this. The few gags with Thing, Fester, Lurch, and a lot of the carryover jokes from the original show, which this does have a number of them, those were great. But when it's focusing so much on the all these different things that just aren't that interesting, it loses me. As always, I recommend you watch it for yourself and come to your own conclusions about the things you like and things you don't like about this special. In my next video, I'm going to be taking a look at what is considered probably the definitive and most famous and recognizable version of The Addams Family. And one of the movies I've been asked a number of times to cover, I'm finally going to be taking a look at the Adams Family 1991 film. So tune in next time. Because we get a little bit spooky, a little bit ooky. Ah, oh, yeah, you get it. Okay. And of course, until then, make sure to stay spooky.